Okay, the Nets are the most awful franchise I've ever seen in my life. You got Kyrie, you got KD, and you're doing awful. You just fired Steve Nash to hire Ime Adoka. Like, come on. Next thing you know, Carl Malone is going to be the vice president of operations. Miles Bridges is going to be your new starting center. And then you're going to get Josh Primo off the bench. There's just so much drama surrounding the Brooklyn Nets. So today we are doing the most simple possible thing, and we are removing them from the NBA. And after getting rid of the Brooklyn Nets, we're replacing them with the new New Jersey Nets who are a little bit less problematic. Now that I've removed the Brooklyn Nets, replaced them with the New Jersey Nets, I'm sure you can guess where this is going. I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild this New Jersey Nets team and try to get Jason Kidd an NBA championship in the modern era. They also got Richard Jefferson. The bench is looking rough, so we're gonna trade away Todd and Aaron for Cameron Payne. The game automatically signed Isaiah Thomas when I loaded in the roster because the Nets didn't have enough players or something. They also got Jason Collins second round pick. Those guys, all of these guys on the left, yeah, they're leaving for the dudes on the right maxi kleber welcome to the team next i'm gonna trade away keith van horn and the guy we just got i can never pronounce his name so i'm just gonna call him the guy i'm sorry that we're trading away another short king but to get Keldon johnson and trade jones i think that's a solid trade both of them are most improved candidates then i'm gonna trade away Keldon johnson campaign and a second round pick for mitchell robinson emmanuel quickly get a little bit of defense get a little bit of scoring off the bench which makes the lineup jason kidd carrie kittles richard jefferson Kenyon martin and mitchell robinson with emmanuel quickly maxi kleber trey jones and brian scalabrini coming off the bench and then all these bald dudes who don't actually exist 2k doesn't make a lot of sense they have miles bridges asking for 27 m's and then josh primo is asking for 26 like the only reason he wants a contract that big gotta be to pay for his lawyer because he's not that talented i just signed lamarcus aldridge we're gonna take him maxi kleber in a second round pick trade him for john wall and roco i'm gonna flip both of them anyway i already have my backup point guard of the future i don't really want John Wall, but I want to try to boost these trades for something better, like Terry Rogier. So Terry and Dennis Smith Jr., welcome to the team. I like both of you. Dennis Smith Jr. has been hoping in real life as of late. So I do need a big man off the bench, and I think that big man is going to be JaVale McGee. I'm going to simulate to the NBA season, see if I can win a championship with the New Jersey Nets because everyone hates Brooklyn, and I'll see you then. So I actually made one more trade, and I might have gotten finessed, and we're about to find out when you look at this. I sent Kerry Kittles and three first-round picks for Desmond Bain. I needed to make a move. We started off 13 and 10. I need a championship, not a barely above 500 record. Guys, this is a historic moment of the year. Jokic won MVP. I didn't remove Luka. I didn't override anything. Nikola Jokic actually won MVP this season. You get rid of Brooklyn and it fixes the NBA. I've solved the case. I've cracked the code. Get rid of the Brooklyn Nets. Get rid of that sorry franchise with sorry basketball players, except Ben Simmons. I love you, Ben Simmons. But still, you get rid of Brooklyn. You got Jokic winning MVP. MVP for the third straight year instead of Luka. 26 points, 12 rebounds, 10 assists, 2 steals, and they block Keegan Murray, your rookie of the year with 16 points a game. Drummond is 6th man of the year, averaging 12 and 11. Anthony Davis is your defensive player of the year. I've seen this actually a lot in 2K. It used to always be Giannis or someone else like Embiid, but now it's Anthony Davis. We got Bones Highland with the most improved player. Good for you, Bones. Putting up 15 a game. I like, oh god. How does this happen? I removed Brooklyn from the league. Why are you still a coach? I can't escape him. I can't outrun Ime Adoka. Why is he here? The All-NBA second team has two New Jersey Nets members. We got Jason Kidd with 21, 7, and 10. And then you got Kenyon Martin here as well. 23 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks. Only the 6th seed, and I thought we were going to be better, but we aren't. In the first round, we are taking on Cleveland. I feel like we can beat this team. I think our team's a tiny bit better. Not by a lot, but I still think the team's solid, so hopefully we move on. Game 1 goes to us. Game 2 also goes to us. Game 3 goes to the them. How about game four? You want to give us game four, 2K? Yes, you do. How about game five? Okay, no, not quite. Game six, though. Yeah. We move on to the second round. All of our old dudes, 21, 24, 34. When I say old dudes, I mean the guys who don't play in the NBA anymore. I know they're not that old. It's not like they're 70 and 80. Second round, we're playing against the Chicago Bulls. You know that team, except this team has a healthy Lonzo Ball. And that might be the biggest surprise of this whole video, is that somehow Lonzo Ball is healthy. We lost in seven. We suck. But then again, what are you going to do when DeMar DeRozan is dropping? 41 on your noggin. All right, on to next season. Hopefully, we can win a title. Bulls are going to the finals. Bulls and what kind of finals? The Bulls just won the title? Man, 2K loves the Chicago Bulls this year. Zach Levine somehow wins finals MVP without playing. He had an astounding stat line of zero minutes per game, zero points per game, zero. Yeah, no, he didn't play apparently. So we had the 22nd overall pick and we drafted Amen Thompson, who they thought was going at 12. Yeah, this is a steal. Uh, every simulation I I've seen so far he does 
pretty good. As of right now, the team is looking eh. They're okay. I'm going to make some moves and try to flip around some pieces. Hopefully, we can do a little bit better next season. I'm going to part ways with Mitchell Robinson and Terry Rozier. And with that, we are going to pick up De'Aaron Fox and Malik Monk. Yes, De'Aaron Fox. And then I am taking both of them and trading for Damian Lillard. I don't know why he's running from the grind, but I'm stealing him. Then, because we already have Jason Kidd, I'm flipping Damian Lillard and JaVale McGee for DeAndre Aiden and Landry Shamit. Then I'm flipping Landry Shamit, Trendon Wofford for Deshaun Tate and Anthony Gill. I'm going to do a couple more trades that look like this. Two bad guys for 76 overall. Do a couple small trades to build up pieces to go for some bigger guys. And I'll see you guys once I've done that. All right, so I've made a bunch of trades, pretty much like 3,000 of them at this point. You can see them all on your screen. I'm not going to go over every single one right now. But the new starting lineup is Jason Kidd, Desmond Bain, Richard Jefferson, Kenyon Martin, and DeAndre Ayton. Off the bench, we got Dan. Daniel Gafford, Tyus Jones, Peyton Pritchard, and Trey Jones, and Eamon Thompson, and Luke Cornett. No, why are we running a 10-man? All right, I fixed rotations. I fixed the minutes. We're fine. We got a solid team. I don't know why they're trying to give my boy Luke minutes. Time to simulate to the end of the regular season. Hopefully, we win a title this year, because I'd be really sad if it takes me way too long to win. It is confirmed I have solved the greatest puzzle and mystery known to mankind, and that is how do we make sure Luka isn't dominating the league? Just get rid of Brooklyn, because apparently he's averaging like 190 and 90 against Brooklyn, and that's why the whole season goes crazy. This year, John Morant is your MVP, averaging 34, 7, and 12. Anthony Black is your rookie of the year. This guy played better than Victor. Victor only averaged like 17 and 8. He's not that great. Okay, Malcolm Brogdon, sixth man of the year. Defensive player of the year goes back to Giannis, and most improved is Darius Garland, averaging 29 and 11. My God. Kenyon Martin made the All NBA second team, averaging 26 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks. Jason Kidd is no nowhere to be found and there's some dude with a really loud truck outside so i'll be back in a minute it was the mailman he had mail to deliver that makes sense anyways we're here first round against atlanta we're taking on trey young Dejounte murray i mean it's the same team they have currently by the way speaking of atlanta and georgia and all that uh rest in peace takeoff that was really sad to wake up to yesterday very very sad day yesterday between that and ime adoka going in the nets man it was rough obviously takeoff passing away is a lot worse than ime adoka joining the nets don't make it out like somehow Ime Adoka getting a job is worse than Takeoff's passing. But you get what I'm saying. Recipes Takeoff, Ime Adoka, you're an awful human being. Why are you in Brooklyn? The Pacers got Kristaps Porzingis and Anthony Black and Benedict Matt. Okay, they're really young. Plus, they got Kristaps. We'll see how this goes. Their team's young, but they got Kristaps, you know? So they got a little bit of veteran. But then again, Kristaps hasn't gone far in playoffs. And he's not going to go far this time as we're going to beat him in six. All right, Eastern Conference Finals. We're taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers. I think we beat them a couple of years ago. Did I just say a couple of years? ago wasn't that last season see rebuilds are really weird because they take so long to record that it feels like we've done multiple seasons but this is only the second season we're gonna win in five goodbye cleveland you can't handle kenyon martin is hooping yeah he's leading the team also richard jefferson 22 a game in the playoffs this is richard jefferson before he was bald i don't know if that changes anything kenyon martin finals mvp of course he's going crazy but john moran's going crazier as he just beat the warriors and averaged 40 and 14 all right this isn't scary at all game one goes to us Game two goes to them. How about how about game three? Can can we win game three? Yeah, we can. How about game four? Oh, it is a three to one series. I also just realized that this Grizzlies team actually has Kerry Kittles and we have Desmond Bain. It's a matchup. It's the Desmond Bain revenge tour. Or maybe Kerry Kittles if he comes back down 3-1. Desmond had a decent season, averaging like 16 points a game in the playoffs and in the regular season. And can New Jersey prove they are a better franchise than the Brooklyn Nets? I mean, I think moving to Brooklyn was awful. Why do we need two teams in New York? Why does it have to be such boring jerseys? And why do they have to be so problematic? I don't know. It doesn't matter. New Jersey NBA champions. Look at that. Jason Kidd finals MVP. 21 points, 13 assists, 7 rebounds, and 2 steals. Shout out to Jason Kidd. Shout out to the New Jersey Nets. They're just built different. And uh, yeah, Brooklyn Nets. I removed them. They're gone. We replaced them with New Jersey. I won a championship with Jason Kidd in the modern era. That's going to do it for today's video. Like, subscribe, all that mumbo jumbo that you got to say in like every YouTube video. And and that's going to do it for me. Peace out.